Rules for thee, but not for me. Now, I'm going to reveal one of my deepest, darkest secrets to you. I have never watched a single movie or episode of Star Wars. I know, fucking shoot me down right now, but never had any of the toys as a kid, never had any of the posters of Star Wars in my bedroom, nothing. Because I'm from the UK, I leaned a bit more over to Doctor Who, and that was what I grew up with. However, I used to like it, past tense. I wonder what changed my views and opinions on Doctor Who. But anyway, that's enough of my previous videos. Let's talk about the main topic. Wokey Star Wars. Now, I think there's a new TV show of Star Wars coming out. I don't know. I don't care. However, we've got an 18 second clip of what I said towards the start of the video, which is rules for thee, but not for me. So, yeah, you'll know what I mean once you've watched this clip. Let's play it. When people watch The Hate You Give, what, what do you want them to walk away with? Because I know everyone has a slightly different feeling. Um, well, I mean, white people crying actually was the goal. Um, <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> it was the goal. Could you imagine if those rules were reversed within this video? Let's say it was a white actor or actress and they were on live TV saying, yes, this was meant to make black people cry or brown people cry or just people of color in general cry. Cry, you little darkies. Could you imagine that fucking backlash that would happen on a worldwide scale? Not just on Twitter or news outlets as a whole, but even in person. I guarantee there'd be multiple reports of death and there would all be white people who would have been a victim of that even though they had nothing to do with it. It's honestly, it's just such fucking hypocriticalism at this point, if that's even a word, if I just made that up. But here's my theory on why I believe that racism is just allowed to go unchecked towards white people, but when it comes towards people of colour, they go fucking batshit and that's not allowed. Because white people don't fucking give a, a flying fuck, they honestly don't, you can call them. Actually, if I can put this meme up on screen right now, I will. If not, I do apologise, but you can call white people male monkey and albino Casper and we go, ooh, so bad, and we just move on with our lives. But the second that any white person goes towards a black person, cut off, cut off, you know, that, and black and brown people will go fucking mental and start writing and destroying property and probably trying to kill people as well. Yeah, it's just it's just the way of the world, unfortunately, and that's how it is right now as well. Oh, you can be racist as much as you want towards white people, but the second you do it towards black people, it's a fucking war crime as well. The other thing I think I find quite funny is when you've got TV shows and movies or just outlets like this that are just constantly making this garbage over and over again, they keep spewing out the same thing. This isn't meant for white people. It never was, even though it was made decades ago and it was a very heavy white audience as well because, well, America's mostly white people and a lot of the most famous movies were American movies, so yeah, it would have been mostly white people it would have been aimed at, let's be just be brutally honest, but now it's all these wokey, brownie, tranny fucking British cigarette people that have taken over. The fact that they've spent all their time going, this isn't for white people, this isn't for you straight, you know, fucking far right extremist males out there. And they're sitting there now crying going, why is none of these straight white males just watching our show? It's racism. Even though they've just spent months, if not years, going, don't you dare watch this. It's the same with Doctor Who over here with the BBC. Again, Shuti Gatwa, the current thing that's pretending to play the Doctor, suppose that's acting at the end, end of the day. Again, this isn't meant for you, know, you straight white males, you know, don't watch this. Okay, v the viewers collapsed to an all-time record level for Doctor Who. Why is nobody watching Doctor Who? <laughs> You're all racist. And it's like, yeah, we are. You fucking made us racist, you fucking idiot. But yeah, it's just the same old meta over and over again. And are we surprised that this is what Disney's doing as well? Again, with like She-Hulk and the Marvel, it's actually these misogynistic, white, straight, far-right extremist males. We told them not to watch the show and they didn't watch the show and they're, they're racist and discriminatory because they didn't watch the show after we told them didn't, don't watch the show, it's not meant for you. It's the same fucking retarded logic over and over again. And people are just getting fucking fed up with it. Look, if you don't want us fucking crackers watching your fucking riddled third world shit, then sure, we will fuck off and watch some other things that aren't riddled with this absolute woke lefty fucking mental ill crap that you keep injecting into all of our most loved and favourite TV shows and movies. 
It is a real shame that this is the path it's going down. And again, going back to Doctor Who, because I think that's still the source of absolute wokeness. I think it all started with that, with it, at least within TV shows and movies. But again, it's not the BBC that has control over that anymore. It's fucking Disney. Yeah, that's a little fact for you. They have final say in Doctor Who. Yeah, fun little fact for you. But yeah, will this new Star Wars TV show or movie be... Yeah, it's going to be shit. Let's just be fucking... Let's just cut to the punchline. It's going to be fucking shit, let's be honest. She-Hulk was arguably one of the biggest disasters in TV show and movie history as well. That, the Marvels, which just, I, I don't even know what that was. Nobody cared, nobody watched it. Not even women wanted to watch that. It fucking tanked. And again, it was men's fault, straight white men fault, as per usual. But yeah, absolute fucking nonsense as well with, with this. People are getting absolutely fucking fed up with it. And I can't wait for the day where the roles are reversed, where we start going, yeah, let's start making things that are not meant for coloured people, it's only for white people, and watch the whole fucking world burn down, because, well, rules for thee, but not for me. But anyway, I'll wrap the video up there, thank you very much for tuning in, it's greatly appreciated. If you could like to subscribe, hit the bell notification, that would help me out a lot, we're less than 30 subs away from a thousand, so if we could hit that, that would be awesome as well. If you can leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree with anything I said or you want me to cover a topic in a future video very soon, just let me know down in the comments as well. If you want to follow me on Twitter for some truly uncensored opinion, opinions, you can follow me there at Rantoholic, links, links in the pinned top comment. If you want to go check out any of my other videos, I've talked about um, just political madness, you know, the absolute brutality of the police and, you know, absolute stupid decisions made by, like, let's say, MW3 or Escape from Tarkov, all that type of stuff. But yeah, I'll wrap up there and I'll let you go. Thank you very much for tuning in, it's greatly appreciated. But yeah, um, I love you all, and as always, keep on rolling, have a great day, and a better week to follow. See yous!